from lectures and sessions on un a unique exhibition on rocks and minerals was also held in the 102nd Indian Science Congress. Let's take a look. A huge collection of magnificent rocks, colorful mineral slabs and fossil collection exhibition is the part of the ongoing event of Indian Science Congress. These are the collection of international expert M.F. Maki and the Deccan College of Pune. One will get to see a variety of material remnant, some fossils of extant animals and semi-precious minerals which are found deep in the pockets of earth's crust. The state of Maharashtra is famous for producing the world's uh, finest mineral specimens known as zeolites and the zeolites come in many colorful crystalline forms and many of them have been uh, displayed here for the benefit of visitors and uh, I can show you some uh, like this green apophyllite which is uh, an example of good green apophyllite crystal uh, and also uh, this is a very famous uh, uh, mineral because Maharashtra is known for producing this kind of green apophyllite and another thing which I can show you is uh, a scolecite and uh, steel bite these are also found in Maharashtra in many parts of Maharashtra this is a manganese mineral and uh, it, ha it, is, it has taken a unique uh, crystalline form and uh, we don't find such kind of large crystals in India but we do get other this is uh, sulfur from uh, Indonesia uh, from the active volcanoes of Indonesia. The exhibition aims to promote popularization of earth science, geology and mineralogy. Uh, they are taking great interest in coming and seeing this exhibition uh, which shows that the public has a great uh, craving and desire to see what is coming out of earth and slowly the, the, the knowledge about earth science and mineralogy and geology is slowly taking root in the minds of public. Maharashtra is the place where we find lots of rocks. Uh, Mumbai can, we can say Mumbai always rocks and today in Mumbai we have an exhibition on rocks and mineral. With camera person Suresh Kale, this is Tabasum Malik for DD News, Mumbai. And let's now take a look at the top stories published in the newspapers from the national capital. My co-anchor Salvia went through them a short while back. 